Hey teachers, my name is Michelle and I am a math specialist and I'm gonna take you through how to log into the Prodigy page and assign assignments to students. So first things first, you're gonna type in your email address and your password. So whatever you have that's linked with it. Um, I am a math specialist in New Fairfield, Connecticut. I've been doing this for a long time. I recently discovered Prodigy. It is fantastic. Okay, so the only student I have is my avatar, which I created because this is kind of like a play account to kind of show you everything. So I'm gonna move you over here. So in order to create an assignment, we're just gonna click on the assignment tab. It's really easy. We'll click create a new assignment. Let's see, I don't know why I'm not creating, there it goes. Create a new assignment. Um, it should come up shortly, here we go. Now you're gonna pick the type of curriculum that you use. As of about a month ago, for some reason, um, they didn't have uh, American money. It was for some, the computer program kept defaulting to Canadian money. Um, but I believe it's, they're working on that thing. So I'm just going to start off doing a first grade assignment. Um, I chose the Common Core curriculum. They also have the curriculum, I believe, for Florida, for Texas, and of course, Ontario, Canada. These are all the skills that are within it. You can pick multiple grade levels and just assign multiple things. So like if you have a mixed class, I don't know why you would, but if you do like a resource room, again, all of these topics align with the standards. So I'm gonna just jump to first grade and start off right from the first topic. So I'll click, which I'm interested in, uh, classifying two shaped word problems. And you know what? The reality is this is first grade. Some of our kiddos can't read, but that's no problem because I'll sh um, Prodigy will actually come up with speakers that they can click and the problems will read to them. Challenging vocabulary words that they haven't had yet, they can click on also, and it'll read it and kind of give a definition. So um, just trust the process. Now, most people might just click create assignment, which is fine. If you do that, it'll assign it to every single one of your children, that number of questions. Now, a couple tricks. If you're running a multi-grade room or even a multi-skill level room, so for example, if you're big on differentiating, which we should be big on differentiating, basically the premise of what's gonna happen is I would recommend creating a couple free Google Gmail accounts and having like group one, group two, group three, because that way you can click all students and assign like all of your lower kids the same set of questions, the same number of questions, et cetera. What I find is I haven't, they don't really allow us to group yet in Prodigy. It's a newer system. It's only been out a couple of years. So if I have a list of all hundred students that I see, I would have to manually click which students are getting which topic. So this coming school year, I'll have multiple accounts to go that way um, because it's just so much easier. I will customize this assignment. We can give it a name. So it could be like group one, group two, group three. Uh, you can determine the number of questions up to 25 questions if there were more students which i don't have um, but basically all of the students would come up here so i would have to manually click if i didn't create multiple prodigy accounts if you do research in the prodigy forums they will tell you to create multiple accounts it's free so it doesn't cost any more to do that um, you can create a start and end date and then create the assignment i'm going to say yes and let's just walk through one more time quickly to show you how to do it. So let's say I wanna do classifying 2D shapes. I probably would have done this in a different order um, because I'd rather have them classify shapes before doing word problems, but for whatever reason, this is kind of how Prodigy brings it up. So I'll click on that, I'll load it up, I'll pick my curriculum that I wanna do. It's gonna to default to Ontario. It goes to first grade every time that I've experienced it. I'll click classifying 2D shapes. This shows me what the types of questions are like to give me an example. I'll again customize this to eight. Um, and then just click create a site. So in summary, best practice, I would open up multiple Prodigy accounts. That way you can do differentiation and group to assign assignment and you just go there. Another video will talk about how to use planner. All right, thank you so much for watching. Add comments, shoot me an email if you need help. Thanks, bye.